Um, so last year, after Pedro's stay was granted for one year, how did you and your family react, and what did you do after that? Oh, right away, when he was um, released on the 16th day of August, it was a Friday, so we made it through the weekend and got the house together and cut the grass, and we just felt like we could let our hair down and breathe again, and right away we went to go and apply for a work permit for Pedro uh, on how to get a social security with the work permit, the driver's license, insurance. It was just things to do and time it took to get it all together. Um, and we did it little by little by little. He had an expired passport that came up on August the 24th of 2014, which was one of his requirements with immigration to keep the travel document valid. So we had to do a plan with the circumstances in our home um, with the care of Juan. So we planned, you know, the trip down to Detroit, Michigan and and um, did what one of the requirements was is to get a valid passport. And we got that taken care of. And uh, when we went into immigration on August the 5th of this year, 2014, to turn it, it turn the passport in to, and to do another stay application, um, I was so sure that it was fine. I, I was just so sure because we were doing everything to make Pedro stay for the rest of his life here with us, not for a preparation of deportation. We wasn't preparing for a deportation. We were preparing for a positive future for us, us, this Hernandez family. That's what we were preparing to do.